Thousands of Kurds from across Europe traveled to the Paris suburbs for the politically charged funeral of three of their own killed in a December attack in the French capital. Buses were chartered to bring people from across France and some neighboring countries to the ceremony in villiers la belle north of Paris, local sources said. Tears and cries of, martyrs live forever, greeted the coffins, wrapped in the flags of the Kurdistan Workers' Party and the Kurdish-controlled Rojava territory in northern Syria. A xenophobic gunman, William Mallet, is suspected of killing two men and one woman in a December 23 attack on the Ahmet Kaya Kurdish Community Center in Paris's 10th district. His victims were Abdurrahman Kizil, singer and political refugee Mir Perwa and Emine Kara, a leader of the movement of Kurdish women in France. Arrested after the shootings and formally charged on December 26, 69-year-old Mallet told investigators he had a pathological hatred for foreigners and wanted to murder migrants, prosecutors said. Mallet, a retired train driver, had a violent criminal history and had just left detention over a previous incident. But many Kurds in France's 150,000-strong community refused to believe he acted alone, calling his actions a terrorist attack and pointing the finger at Turkey.